Hey guys, look to your back for some more Nido Kuni. Last time, uh, we got to, uh, Hamlin and explored a bit, and now we're at the palace. Hang out about, Dolly Boy. We need to use our heads and, uh, think before we move. Otherwise, those porkers will snow us out in no time flat. First thing to do is press RB and get out our old, get out the old map. Looking at that, you might... <laughs> Look at that, will help you work out where the guards are going in it. This place is crawling with the blighters, so you'll need to use a red stick to check if the ghost is clear before strolling around any corners. Oh, and uh, if you take a proper close look at the map of yours, I bet you'll find some handy nooks dotted around the place. If we hide in them, the guards will never spot us. The thing about those pink helmets they wear is they can only see what's right in front of their snouts. So if we don't get carried away and stray too close to them, I reckon we'll be alright. Got that out of you? Tidy. Let's do this, shall we? Um... His voice is a bit weird. <laughs> My voice is a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know. I can't even, uh... Do it right. <laughs> Doesn't sound right to me. Only what's right in front of them. You know what? I want to get caught. I want to see what happens. <laughs> Who in the places are you? Over here where I could see you state your name, rank, and purpose. Cheapers, I think we might be in trouble. <laughs> Don't panic, holy boy. In situations like this, I found the best thing to do is keep your cool. Look him straight in the eye and then flip it like it. <laughs> okay. That's not uh, funny, but uh Let's see how far the How far? How far the okay. That far. Hmm. That's pretty far. Go for real now. I don't know why I can't imagine Drippy's voice in my head. <laughs> I need to figure that out. Well, Goes all the way to the back. That one scared me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I have to make sure he's f flipping out of there. Out here. We're not even allowed to be seen. We should have just taken our armor off. <laughs> so loud, the armor. There's a door here. It's a friendly shot.
stars. It's a dead end. Hey, look. Lepin Akmon, stop shouting. Uh-oh. But look, it's a manhole. What do you mean it's a manhole? Hole in the floor is about as much use as uh, to us as blinking. Wait, if we go through here, I think we'll come out somewhere around there. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? It really is. Uh, oh, there is in to the left. Hang about, are you telling me we really have to go down there? Sure. Alright, in we go. Uh, this armor is too big to fit inside. Uh, then let's take it off. Take it off? Don't take off your disguise at a time like this, man. I'm keeping mine on. Size ain't a problem for me. Guys, Trippy, you're just wearing a helmet. <laughs> too right I am, and I'm the only one of us who got half a chance of not getting caught. Tell you why, shall I? Yeah, he has, uh, armor at least. <laughs> Don't tell me you've learned to do a Hamlin accent. Oh. No, you saw <laughs> Yeah, so or so. It's because this helmet by here is the best disguise of all. Every time I hear a guard come in, just tuck my arms in my <laughs> legs like that. The guards just see a helmet lying on the ground and continue their merry way, blending in with the environment, ain't it? Tidy. Well, should. Yeah, the guards should pick it up. <laughs> blending in. Like oak, they blend into the environment too. No, Mond is completely different. Uh, sure, I saw anyway. It looks like this manhole's our only option, huh? Unless Rippy can find some us uh, some giant helmets to wear, I get right. <laughs> yes, let's go down there, shall we? Look at this place. It's amazing. Yeah, it sure is something. So, this is how the other half live, is it? Proper swanky, this is. Oi, hmm? it's this way. How'd you know? Come on, get a move on! Okay, are you sure about this? Ah! Huh? Ah! What now? Ah! Run! Run, I tell Wayne! you! Yeah, but a minute's less with you lucky that. Yeah, I was gonna say go through the pillars. It's not that big. Or it's too big. <laughs> oh. Parko Grosso, Ice Shrine, Mark X. Let's swing. Try to steal. Ready? Mon, you'll never dent it in that mechanical monstrosity unless you use magic on one of your familiar attacks. Or <laughs> tricks. Spoff storm should do nicely. These mechanical types aren't exactly fought of lightning, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I've been playing uh, Crab's Treasure recently. And, uh, attacking is with X. So, uh, Oh, 
right in the back. Oh, I can I... Did I forget to put all on attack while he was down? <laughs> Shit. Why is it not changing color?
Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. I need Esther. No, what the hell just happened? must have heard us fighting. They'll be here any minute. You're right. I could hear voices. Come on, we have to run. Don't worry about me, Ollie boy. First sign of trouble and I'll turn into a carelessly mislaid helmet, ain't it? Uh... Are they actually coming? No. Uh, let me take a look. Coffin. I want to see what that means. Eardrums. Oh, that was a stressful battle. Let's go this way. 
Go over, man. There's flipping sky full of pigs. There's a lot of big open unnecessary spaces <laughs> in this game. For like the palaces. Good animation. That's how they sound. <laughs> Marcusan, ruler Marcusan. of Hamlin. And who might you be? Oh, you see, um... What do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, oh, no! Oh, my <gasps> God! You mustn't! God! No! Oh, get away! Do not look at me! Get out of here, I say! You mustn't Was this vanity? look at me! Guessing. Go! Be gone! Wow! So the prince is the great sage. Got it in one. Just who in the world are you? Your Highness, you have nothing to fear. There's something we'd like to ask you. Something to ask me? Ah, I see. Now you know my secret. You mean to blackmail me. That's not it. We came to... We wanted... We need the great sage's help. Huh? Great sage? You mean me? Yes, of course we do. You were one of the great sages who protected this world, weren't you? I am sorry to disappoint you. It was my father who was the great sage. He passed away 15 years ago. But you inherited his powers, didn't you? The great sage's powers? <laughs> you should not believe everything you hear. I was never good enough. How could I be a great sage? Me, of all people. I have no gift for magic. Big magic. Huh? But you... <sighs> I think you've been here long enough. No one asked you to come. Now leave me alone! Go! <laughs> There's something iffy about that lad, I reckon. Do you think? No doubt. He's broken-hearted. But which piece of his heart is missing? What that boy's lost is his belief, like. Belief. Sure as eggs is eggs. His belief? That's right. Folks can tell him how blinking handsome he is till they're blue in the face, but will he believe him? Not a bit of it. Lost his belief he has in himself and everyone else. And he calls himself a prince. <laughs> That's a laugh. Oh. He's just a sniveling little wimp. Come on. Let's go find that piece of heart. Right. <sighs> he's more trouble than he's worth. I guess we'll be going then, Your Highness. So you. I know that man. But from where? I'm trying not... <laughs> I was trying to think of a belief pun, but I couldn't. <laughs> Red Sage is the prince himself, is it? And he's broken hearted. We have to do something as fast. We need to find some belief. Uh, is it just me or is it getting misty in here? Uh oh. Boris. Oh, this is really something. What's going on now, Olson? Can't see a thing. Oh, huh? wait a second. Hmm? There's someone there. Ooh, I can't see anything. Whoa. Monkey guy? Uh, where'd they come from? They're still after us! To our huh? right! Look! There's more behind us! Huh? Damn it! We're surrounded! They're monkeys. Huh? Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers! Huh? We could ask you the same thing! Mind your tongue, girl! You stand before an emperor! We'll take care of them, your majesty! Emperor? <laughs> 
Stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come, bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Ah. Is there monkey huh? guards? <gasps> the more I listen to your lies, the more laughable they become. Are you truly trying to suggest that you are from the future? What? Is that really true, Swain? I'm not sure I believe myself. There's no doubt about it. You saw the sorry state the prince of your... <laughs> with your own eyes. What? Man, you see before you now, on the other hand, is the former emperor of Hamlin. Hmm. You shall tell me of this. Now speak. What becomes of Hamlin in the future? Who is this prince that you encountered? Uh, he had a long dark hair, blue eyes. <laughs> you must tell lies. You must at least make them credible, boy. Uh, we're not lying. He... Do you mean to tell me that my younger son will one day become emperor? Younger? So that Marty prince has got an older brother, has he? Look at this. This is your darling son, Marquez. <laughs> Marcuson, all grown up. This is the future Emperor of Hamlin. Hmm. <clears throat> Does indeed look somewhat similar to my son. Can you really be showing him that, Swain? I had to do something. He never would have believed otherwise. Marcuson becomes Emperor. But what of Gascon? What will become of him? Well, you never really liked him much anyway, did you? He wasn't really Emperor material. Are you claiming that I do not care for my own son? I have had men imprisoned for less. Are you denying it? Surely not. Marcuson was the only son you ever wanted. How dare you? How dare you make such a claim? Your Majesty, something terrible has occurred. It's Prince Gascon and Prince Marcuson. They went out to the practice their magic, but they have ventured beyond the city walls. Leave them be. They shall fend for themselves. But your majesty, think of the danger. Prince Marcus is still so young. You're not going to help them, your majesty? Certainly not. They must learn to resolve problems that are their own making. That is the Hamlin way. Good. You're not just... You're really just going to ban your own children? Silence. If they're in danger, your majesty, if you won't help them, we will. Look, we don't have time for a steering contest. Say we leave for this old fool to stew and find those kids. What do you say? <laughs> we'll continue this later, shall we? Um, you don't believe us, right? <laughs> Whatever challenges face our realm, whatever sought or unsought, we must overcome them. That is the way of Hamlin. That sounds good. We're in here. So somehow we went back in time. That's weird. Oh shit. Oh, I'm guessing this is just the left door. <laughs> or western door. from the past. Emperor orders us not to do anything to assist the princess. I must obey, though it pains me. Oh, 
Oh, shit, there's people. Emperor was quite a looker when he was a young man. I got a portrait of him hanging above the mantelpiece. It's just a little one when I gaze at it every day. What's that? You think I'm a little small to be a soldier? Well, I'm in the engineering corps. It's about brains, not brawn, you see. The pair of us were just discussing ideas for new and exciting inventions. Do you have anything to contribute? No. So I'm thinking of a tank that looks like a pig, but it's actually a cock to a money box. And it throws up coins, shoot out the cat. Are you dumb? <laughs> What's that? Pig trotter shoes? Um, you do say the most peculiar things, young man. Chest, I forgot to check. Mm, just the pots. Don't worry, I shan't find you. Just be more careful next time. I had lost all the touch little windmills at the chimney thinking that children would like it. Seems like a good idea at the time, but now I'm starting to get worried. It might cause a collision when the building moves. Oh dear me, I hope I shouldn't have to pay a fine. They say the Emperor is descended from the long line of sages. That's what lies behind Hamlin's heady mix of magic and machinery. We'll come up with me to Perdita. We'll run away and raise Ilpacus. I'll chew hay and live in peace. Come on, who's in? Me? Where would I rather be under the general glow of the gaslights of Hamlin or basking in the sun the place below Perdita? I can't choose. Yeah, I'm going to bit my uncle to build me a piglet mask. Oh. <laughs> She'll be brilliant. Wait. Make me a pig tank. Go on. They say there are all sorts of terrifying ghosts haunting the Halley North here. It's very dangerous. I mind you keep well away from it. I love to see a ghost, but there's just no way to get to the valley in the north. Only someone will clear the path. Why not take a look at my armor? It's barely a smile, don't you know? Was there time traveling now? I heard there's a little place down the back street where it offers a line selection of exotic fruit juices. Should we give it a try, don't you think? I think it would make me happier to share a trick with my mentor and inspiration. Do you fancy coming too? Are those two of you going to drink after dinner? I suppose I'll join you if you insist. Oh, he's so handsome. Every day he stands there with a shiny arm protecting the main thoroughfare. What a fine fellow. They talk to this kid. I've got a pig of my very own. I got an enter him in this year's Truffle Snuffle Challenge. Shuffle. Truffle Snuffle. Ah, you're quite right, of course. I'm sorry I doubted you. That was messy. So you like my style, don't you? These clothes are rather fetching, if I do this myself. I love my new tunic. Father bought it for me. He's the best. Well, let's go here. Still... Uh, a bird. Okay, now I have money. What's an actual upgrade? This is an upgrade. I mean, I have one. Since when did I get one? Did I buy it? I don't even remember doing that. I don't.
Part one, haunted claws. And this is an upgrade. Upgrade Mikey. And upgrade Sid. Oh, 27. Shoot. You're a little too big to model a close eye. Who gives? Wanted to become a brave warrior, defending Hamlin, but they said they didn't have any armor in my size. Need to make extra large sizes. How else am I supposed to get fit? Like everyone gets fat in the future. Well, Mom is the Emperor's biggest fan. I'm mad about him, she is. Personally, I like the two princes. So adorable. Ah, oh, the future's looking bright. Dark still. Oi, you fellow, that fellow across the street wants his music box repaired. Stop out and grease the cogs, will you? Our workshop had a fortune turned out any job, no matter how small. I'm still no match for my mother. I suppose I'll just have to keep on training. I spend every day um, to my elbows in grease mending peak tanks. Why can't I work on something like a flying machine? Would it have to be something more exciting than a boring old cloud sweeper, though? How about some kind of flying pig based craft? <laughs> like. bacon machine? God. <laughs> you didn't travel here. What? What? We really are in the past. Well, what is it that's so interesting? Are you intending to steal a whole wreck from me? My grandchildren and I just love gazing up at the palace. Order of the seed is just brimming with life and laughter. Long may it last. Hey Dad, look at the palace. It's so bright and beautiful. Hmm, well, so sorry, I was miles away. Just wondering how many black truffles a man could eat before he burst. When I grow up, I want to be able to use magic like a great sage. You already are. <laughs> <laughs> it's floating. What do you think of my dress? Pretty, is it not? I made a few adjustments to the skirt to give it all extra lift and bounce. Down hammers to make little tweaks here and there and really make a statement of what you wear. Oh, I've got all sorts of exciting ideas and accessories for my clothes. Whatever is the matter with you, you're staring at me in a way that's making me ever so slowly uncomfortable. Well, I visited Ding Dong Dill, everyone wanted to look at the watch my grandfather made me. This goes to show there's nowhere that can touch him when it comes to technical paralysis. Is that right? The folks in Ding Dong Dill took a shine to it, didn't they? Well, the watches we make in Hamlin are the best in the world, after all. Oh. Welcome to the cat's crater. Hi. Uh, yeah, whatever. Do I 
wasted 280 coins in this place. Just yet another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Welcome to Hamlin, we welcome you, enjoy, we hope you enjoy your stay here. And there, goodbye. Wait, I need a strong coffee. Can't afford it. Iced coffee. I always need iced coffee. I have enough for now. Unless I have to go out, then I'll grab some just in case I die. I never noticed that uh, big. I reckon going off the beaten track in Hamlet, the backstreets have real character. Can't find or even a regular shop. Chances there's stock at the black market. Who knows where they get their goods from? This looks like a dingy back alley, but we've had royalty from far off lands coming to visit. Folks come to the black market from all over the city. All manners are rare and precious goods. Outer dull corn, fresh black truffles. There's nothing I'll be able to, be able to get. <laughs> We're going hunting. That's thirty. All right, build it up. If we are in the past, can I go past Ding Dong Dell? I don't want to do that. <laughs> or do we not have a boat? Two. Wait, let's check. Their boat gone. I don't want to see that. I think I need to get these guys. Little robot dude. And the gear, flying brown gear things. Stay calm now. Swing! Allow me! Here goes! Get a Kill him. Get 
Kazan! We gotta help them. Yes. Well, that's a long <laughs> stretch animation. Here we go. Wayne, allow me. Here we go. Ready? Get a load of this. Hitting with my stack. Oh, close one are you all right you two are princes aren't you father stemper yes my name is moccasin shut up you fool we can't we can't get go we can't go tell everybody who we are oh so your brother isn't going to tell us his name leave me alone leave you alone you do realize that we're the ones that came and rescued you after you went off all on your own don't you eh, no one asked you to we we're just practicing magic until you lot got in the way. That is. Oh, Kakash Khan, I'm hungry. Well, already. Well, I suppose we better get you something to eat then. Come on, you lot. Oh. Eh. You'd never make it back to Hamlin by yourselves. We'd be a better rescue. Or to us. Yeah, don't worry. You could thank us later. Okay. This is awkward. He looks just like him. He has the same eyes. Lighter hair though. Need to get the robots. Maybe I should. Who likes robots? It's us. <laughs> Wait, no, it's uh, Swain. So I'll give Swain a robot. Be a cloudy. I want to catch this guy. We're under attack. Swain, allow me. Here you go. Get Guys, cog guys have been around. Here goes nothing. Swing, step aside.
No one? Okay, whatever. Let's go. Go back in. Hamlin. Did we get enough money? Or anything good? No. Might as well heal since we might get into a fight again. Are you lot still following us? But we agreed to tell the Emperor that we found you. <sighs> you must you want to see my father, do you do you? I wonder what you want from him. Actually I don't care. Bye. Hang on a minute, Mon. We save your skin back then. Ain't you going to thank us or something? Thank you. You're the ones who should be thanking us for escorting you back to him. <laughs> Flipping cheek of this kid. I ain't never seen anything like it, Mon. Kid, I'm not a kid. I have a name. Gascon. Prince Gascon to you. Be sure to address me properly if we ever meet again. Now come along, Moccasin. Alright. <laughs> Gascon and Moccasin are no longer. Who the blanking heart did a city thing he is? He's got me a proper <laughs> mount up yet. <laughs> oh, the true princes are called Gascon and Moccasin. Something about Prince Gascon. Hmm, what is it? Like I've met him somewhere before. <laughs> I guess it's just my imagination, though. Oh, definitely. No doubt about it. It's your imagination, all right. Uh, I guess so, huh? Now stop wasting time and with harebrained theories. <laughs> now we need to get moving. So, it'll be funny if we're the ones that take his heart and then give it to him <laughs> from the past and give it to the future. <laughs> I admire your spirit. Not every child would so readily refuse an emperor. Sorry, your majesty, but something there's something we have to do. Indeed. And yet your magical abilities really are outstanding. I realize now that I should never have doubted you. You understand that I am reluctant to let such a talent slip away. Are you sure I can't persuade you to be Marcuson's magic teacher? <laughs> Just as stubborn as I remember. Hmm, what did you say? Uh, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but we really do have to go back to our own time. Because we don't know how. Wish to go back to your time, to the future? Well, breach time would be ideal, of course. Breach time? A legendary spell. One that allows the caster to take a leap through time. Alas, it has long been sealed away on account of its power. Hey, that sounds like what we need. I wonder if there's a way we could get this breach time spell. Hey. I heard about your new rule. Why can't I go with Marcusin and help him practice his magic? Really, Gascon. We both know you haven't a single magical bone on your body. Marcusin is the to become a sage. You'll learn nothing from the likes of you. That's not true. I'll teach Marcusin magic. And I'll help him become a sage, you'll see. He does not need your help. Your time would be better spent thinking of another role for yourself within the Empire. What kind of role are you think of talking about? You have me spoon-feed everything to you. You must find your own answers to such questions. That is the Hamlin way. Fine, come on, Marcusin. Let's go and sp practice some magic. All right. I'm gonna be a thief to use magic guns to open chests. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. You had to witness that. Hmm. Twice. <laughs> You're talking about breach of time, your majesty. Yes. Now in return for rescuing my sons, I shall relate you... A piece of Hamlin law states that the spell required to time travel through time is hidden at Tombstone Trail, along with the wand required to cast it. Tombstone Trail? I don't like the sound of that. Tombstone Trail winds its way through a desolate valley to the northwest of here. At its end stands an ancient altar dating from the Age of Sages. That is where you will find the legendary wand, Mornstar. <gasps> Mornstar? Prove yourself worthy of wielding that wand, and you shall surely be deemed ready to cast Breach Time. Be aware, however, that you can only cast Breach Time once in your life. If you go back to the future, you will not be able to return to this time, do you understand? Yes, Your Majesty, we understand. We're going to get Monstar and travel back to our own time. Your enthusiasm is admirable. But be aware that Tombstone's trail is home to countless evil spirits. Take the spell and use it to keep your... The fiends at bay. Arrow of light. Nice. 
You sure will. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mordstar. That was in the cutscene. You must find Mordstar and show your worth. Uh, that was the... Certain White Witch and... The other guy. <laughs> Weak old guy. Uh... High speed. Bolt of light. Uh, let's read it. It looks like a bow and arrow like this. Arrow of light. Pierce your enemies with an arrow of radiant golden light. This spell, which produces gleaming arrows that soar through the air, is known for being especially effective against nightmares. Additionally, it is claimed that some ancient sages would fire such arrows into the night sky as a means of communicating with distant companions. Really proof that adaptability is the hallmark of a great wizard. Looks cool. Makes sense. I did like how that clanged when I walked over that metal part. Just in case I die. I'm gonna buy... Oh, I could buy three phoenix feathers. I only have four! How many did I use? <laughs> go to the place and then next time we'll do the haunted place <laughs> <It's called. laughs> something spooky wood I need to catch one of these it uh, deals Wait, it's I need planet drop or star drop <laughs> watch now I'm gonna get a planet drop Spookies. Ooh, ghosts. I do want a ghost. Ready? 
Fight these guys for the coffee. We're under attack. Swing. Allow me. This planet drops. Mercy. Moon drops. Why does this gun do no damage? <laughs> What's the point of this gun? <laughs> Is that it? Let's see what that does. Magic attack. Oh, bridge is over there. Here we go. Swing. Allow me. Trails just over there. Come on over. Draw some runes and get across across. Nice suit. 
to. It, it's chasing us. <laughs> an angle up there, yeah, I couldn't see. These ones are aggressive. We can do this! Swing! Now you're for it! That's what happened. I stole a weapon the last time, did I? Just don't remember. Oh, trick slot is like trick shot. <laughs> well, might as well give him a new skill. Ah, shit. Random element. Sounds good. Yeah. I think I'll end the episode here, and then next time we'll go to the Tombstone Trail. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.